suburb, suburban municipalities have, have done moratoriums uh, on it. The, the mayor looked at it as just another economic piece. And I'll get into more details here in a minute about um, why he didn't think there was a, a concern over this. The, the state law itself, while it allowed or medical marijuana, to, prohibits recreational, so not just anybody can go get it, prohibits smoking of it or combustion. Uh, so it's got to be either edibles or oils or catches, whole series of different things um, that are allowed. Um, and it's all spelled out in the state, in the state, uh, the state law and in, in the rules. So we ended up with, um, at this point, we've got about four processor, four or five processor applications that we have signed off on. Uh, what we did is in the zoning code, the director of building and zoning services has the ability to place an unnamed use into a comparable zoning district. Good example are the, the you store it places around. Mm -hmm. You won't find those listed in the code, but it was determined that they were, they were a manufacturing type use because they were like a warehouse. Cultivation was more of a, we looked at it as a distribution um, process, uh, pro production and distribution. Uh, along with the processor. So we al he allocated that those can go into the manufacturing districts, M, M1, and M2. Dispensaries he looked at as more of a retail use. Even though it's very limited access to that building, it was still a retail use. He, de um, he decided to put it in the C4 district, commercial district, which is the heaviest of our commercial districts. 